This video is about our trip to Rail de Catorce. So we're getting ready to hit the road again. Yeah, man, we're on the road again. Been in South Tilo for nearly two months. Um, I think it's fair to say we were in a pretty bad way when we arrived. Um, all those miles at limp mode of 40 miles an hour and people coming up behind us. And yeah, it was really, really stressful, really stressful. Really stressful. So when we got here, I just grabbed hold of Danny and I was just so happy to see her. Um, but they've been so lovely to us, Danny and her family. They've just opened their homes up to us and we've just been really lucky to have the luxury of time. Yeah. Just to get all the niggles sorted out. And it's been really nice just to get all the little jobs done on the camper and the truck that we just didn't have time for before. So we're ready. We did our test trip to Quattro Negra and everything went well. You managed to get all the little things done like the water and- AC. ACs. ACs, yeah. regas so we don't have to melt in the AC in the truck. In the truck. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're just really excited. We're gonna start heading south. We kind of have a plan, but it changes all the time. So keep a lookout to see where we're at and where we're going. Just getting ready what? to leave. Maya chasing the birds. He's a good girl. What's going on? How are we going? How are we going? How are we going? Yes, have a little stretch before we go. Hey? Come on in. Come on in. You ready to get in the truck, Maya? Come on in. Where? How are we Come going? On. Come on in. Good girl. Ready to go? Let's go, we're ready! <laughs> so empty without all our vans in. Danny and Paco's old van which is staying here. Bye! There is only two ways to get to this small little mining town. One way is for a 16 mile cobbled road and the other is via an even longer, worse condition road. So we decided to take the 16 mile cobbled road. And what a complete bone shaker it was. We was glad when we got to the end. We've arrived at our location at Rail de Cotorce. Um, spot camping, we're gonna go through to the old town. We can't drive through because we're too high. So we've camped up for the night um, and we're going to have a look tomorrow. Not a lot to do to set up these days, just getting settled in. But, my here. We're gonna go for a walk, are we? Taking a little walk up here.
we parked just over there. A few more street dogs. So sad, there's so many of them around here. Really nice tonight, sun's going down and we're in the mountains and you can see it, really beautiful colours. Up, oh, one, two, three, none Maya. And up four. And up five. An old mining town, which is now a tourist attraction, but you've got the old church with the houses in the mountainside, and then you can still see where it was mined out higher up. Camped here for the night, they've got a little RV park in the back. Cool little place. Danny Paco, Steve and Maya. It's nice to be in the warm. This is us camped up for the night. Been down chilling, Maya's absolutely exhausted after all the walking we've done today. Danny's in the kitchen cooking up a storm. Hi. <laughs> And then we're cooking up a chicken in the oven. Which is actually already cooked and pre-bought, but we're warming it up. Yeah. 